our list of things to talk about was uh, why rappers are dying. And there's this really interesting theory that came about that I thought was really cool. And I want to talk about it real quick. It's called the infinite artist theory. The infinite artist theory is uh, effectively when you become an artist, when you become a rapper specifically, you are signing a contract that allows the record label to use your image, your songs, your voice forever. That's right, forever. And if you sign this contract, you are basically binding that even if you die at an early age, an untimely death, that the record label gets to use your voice, your face, your music, everything forever. Now, a lot of people will listen to this and go, I wouldn't want to do that. Well, don't judge too quickly because the honest truth is a lot of people do it because they offer a lot of money. Yeah, they offer a whole lot of money for that. Millions and millions of dollars to sign a piece of paper saying that we can use your face and your voice forever and ever and ever. And so talking about the infinite artist uh, theory, I wanted to talk about people like Juice World, right? Who you guys all know died untimely, right? Of a drug overdose. And even after doing that, unreleased music, you know, stuff coming out the vault. They have this guy doing music with other artists. He's dead. I don't know how that, I mean, I don't, I don't get the, the logistics behind that, but he's not the only rapper that's happened to, right? Tentacion. They've done it to Tupac. They've done, and now, wait, and now they're doing it to Biggie. Yes, Biggie Smalls. They're doing it to him too. So I did some research on, on this subject and come to find out Biggie Smalls is actually about to be used by Meta. You know, Facebook, Meta, Facebook. And they're going to use his face, his likeness, a hyper-realistic avatar to create a concert in his memory. That has to be one of the creepiest things I've ever heard. If you didn't believe in the infinite artist theory, this is, this, this is it. This is the time to believe it. I want you guys to look at this article, okay? Look at this article. It says, Meta's notorious B.I.G. VR concert to feature hyper-realistic avatar of late rapper. 25 years after his death, he'll be resurrected. Twenty-five years after his death, he will be resurrected. Like, ah, oh, oh, like listen to the way that sounds. It sounds like they're taking the T virus and and raising him from the dead so he could be a zombie. Like that sounds bad to resurrect Biggie Smalls for your concert. Somebody in the chat, Twitch said, doesn't Michael Jackson have around 3,000 unreleased, unfinished songs? He does. And they're planning on releasing every single one of them. It's really sad the way they're doing that. And they're doing it to everybody. It's not just rappers, right? It's singers too, like Michael Jackson. 25 years after his death, they will be resurrecting uh, Biggie as a true-to-life, hyper-realistic avatar and a virtual reality concert coming exclusively to Meta's VR and Facebook platforms. I don't know who could listen to that. I don't know who could listen to that and really think that's appealing. First of all, nobody wants to rock with Meta. I think we're all over Meta. Are we, can we all agree on that? I think we're all done with Meta, okay? It failed, it swapped, it sucked, it's over. Meta is dead, Meta's dead, okay. But I think what's concerning me the most is now they're using a rapper who is dead. Why not use a rapper that's alive? Why not use a rapper that is currently like alive? Why not use a rapper that is currently living? Why not use a rapper that is actually acting right? Why, use 50 Cent. 50 Cent could use the, 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 the money, right? The baby, the baby right now can't even get more than 15 people at his concert. I have more people come to my recital as a five-year-old. Then I then then the baby is getting to come out to his concerts. The baby could use you know a VR concert to boost his sales. Why why are we using a man who's been dead for twenty five years? Why? It's because they can. Now a lot of people will look at this and go, well, his estate probably approved it. You know, blah blah blah. It's not even about his estate approving it. Remember, Biggie Smalls was owned by a record label before he died. Biggie Smalls was part of a record label. So his death through contract 
Doesn't matter. They can use him however they want. So somebody signed over the likeness. They signed over his face. They signed over his, 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 his everything so that they can use it for a virtual reality concert. It reminds me of when they did this with Tupac. Do, do y'all remember that? When they used Tupac in some type of weird like hologram thing at Lollapalooza or God dang, like whatever the frick it was. That's creepy. I don't know why, I, and this is me. I don't know why these record labels think that's something we even want to see. What makes you think I want to see a dead man come back to life and rapping in VR? I don't. And, and it continues to say, Meta's VR concert is billed as a celebration of Biggie's 50th birthday year. The Biggie Smalls Sky's the Limit VR concert experience, right? It's his birthday. You know, he died and so you want to celebrate it. This isn't the way to do it. I'm sorry. It's not the way to do it. I, this, this isn't. This is not it. Viola Wallace, Biggie mother's, uh, Biggie's mother, said in a statement, having the ability to create a, a variance of new opportunity to showcase my son Christopher's music through the advancement of technology is hard for me to grasp at times. Which, what she's saying is, I can't believe they're doing this. I didn't even know this is something you could do. That's what she said. I didn't know this is possible. Like, that's, you know, creepy. That's what she's saying. This is creepy. Then she says, however, I found so much excitement in the process of developing his avatar, understanding the value added for fans to experience him in ways unattainable until now. Thank you all who have been contributing to the, and bringing the project to fruition. Blah, 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 blah. It's creepy. I respect his mother. I think she's probably a great person, but I think this is really, really creepy. And I hate the fact that people have been doing this to dead artists for all these years. I think, it's, I think it's time to like figure out another way to do this. I don't know. That's just me, right? That's just a theory, the eternal artist theory, where they get to use you forever and ever, and, and you can never rest. You can never rest. The argument also is that you'll never be forgotten, but most importantly, you'll never rest. And I think that alone is disturbing.